Gear Spider, what's up, man? <clears throat> How you doing? Um, I think it's just you and me. I'm not sure. But... <clears throat> I think I'm in the mood to continue this test of understanding the Eldrazian taxes. Um, just because <clears throat> the format just seems to be in a place where um, just getting some basic knowledge would be pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, let's look at my sideboard. I could see you be tired, you being tired of it. I haven't gotten there yet. Um, but I also don't play it very often. What do you think I should test then? What should I try? What would the old spider test right now? Yo, DS Monster. Pretty good. The, well, <clears throat> before I start buying and primping, how long are you here, Spider? You said you got like 20 minutes. Doing pretty good, DS. How you doing? Because if you're not going to stick around, Spider, I'm not going to buy stuff and then be playing a deck that I can't blame you for when you're not in the chat. Yeah, so we're not going to do that today, then. DS Monster, do you have a request? Is there something you want or need to see? I think, um... <clears throat> That Eldrazi Tron deck is real and might need to be respected. Nice. Just do you. Alright. What do we think of Big Game Hunter again right now? Not into it. I mean, it was done in the past. People definitely used to be Game Hunter during Eldrazi Winter. Alright, let's just copy and paste the internet for the most part. Deck's not doing too hot right now. Alright. <clears throat> well. 
Let's look at Buail Eldrazi. If it'll load. Wrath of God. Oh, chalice. Push Gideon. So atypical sideboard. Although I don't see Stony Silence in his board. I'm trying to figure out where Leon and Relic Border is better. <clears throat> but a Wrath of God? Hmm. Alright, let's get close to this side board. Don't have the chalice right now. We have the fatal push. I don't own Kotaki's, I don't think. I'm just really curious about the Leon and Relic Warden. Um. So. Ellis, those would be the Kotakis, rest in peace, ghostly prisons. I have I have played Ganti. I don't like Ganti too much. We don't have a chalice. Right, we have a Gideon. Don't have Kotaki. We're playing Forge Tender instead here. We have the Rest in Peace in there. We have the Zealous in there. We don't even have a way to get close to pretending a Chalice. I'm like, one of Chalice? Like, really? And then, like, I still don't understand these Leon and Relic Wardens. I'm okay with doing one copy of Journey, because Journey can um, feed uh, Wasteland Strangler. Okay, we're going to keep the Stonies in here. How many artifact things is he doing? Let's think about what the meta looks like right now. Uh, there's a lot of Jund type stuff. There's like, you know, Jeskai, Jund, all that nonsense. Then we have, I've seen a reasonable amount of affinity. I've seen a lot of Tron type matchups um, and burn. Hmm. I think I want to send Collector in the board. Man, alright, let's look at another one of their sideboards, because, like, looking at that's not making me feel good. <coughs> See, I, I feel like this sideboard's at least a little bit more streamlined. See a lot of people on 23 lands here as well. Ravenish trap. Yeah, let's just streamline the board. We'll take our lumps when they come up. So forge tenders. Let's add one more stony. 
cut the journey. We're just going to streamline this. Um, a couple zealous. Maybe we want to cut the sin collector. Do maybe like another Gideon. And. I don't know what the good anti, like what the grind cards are against Eldrazi Tron. Like, what helps you <laughs> grind against them? There's not a lot of cards that grind in that matchup. Like, they're windmill slamming down six sixes and five fives every turn. put a triple pack of Fulminator Mage in the board or something like that, but I don't know that that's, I feel like that's still too slow. Okay. Um, I disagree, but I'm not against trying it. Wall of Resurgence turned out to be really good. Really, really good. Wall fixed a lot of problems. <laughs> I'm just saying the wall the wall in this list, if you watch if you were there or watched the last stream we had, the wall helped a ton. Especially with Shambling Vent, it's really good. It's like playing Batter Skull, a really bad Batter Skull. <clears throat> um, I think this is going to be it. I think, I mean, I don't want to use the word fine, but like everything else is like splitting hairs at this point, I feel like. Just take our, take our lumps when they come. I mean, there's an argument that maybe cut a Gideon and play something a little bit more interactive like maybe some Sin Collectors or something like that just so that we're like consistently disrupting the opponent's hands but I think this is fine we can at least 3-2 with this hopefully competitive modern league Yeah, no, I would do surgicals. I just don't have surgical. Just want to make sure we got the right deck here. Draws the taxes. Okay. How's everybody doing this morning? How are you guys feeling? Hopefully, we don't have to play against like Kenji or somebody. This chat can be pretty brutal. Yeah, like if this was my deck and paper, there's a good chance like some of those rest in peace would be surgicals. I just can't spend 20 bucks on surgical online right now. Alright, <clears throat> looks like we're shipping this one away. Um, we might have to keep this one. Can't take it more than the five. Anytime my opponent's saying have, good, have fun, good luck. Anytime they say that, I usually feel like they're a combo deck. Only combo decks say stuff like that. <laughs> um, Alright, we'll keep it. Hmm. That would be good. We might actually have to keep it. And the reasoning is, like if we need to, we can boost quarter one of our temples 
to go get a basic and at least be able to still cast all of our cards in our hand. So we, we might just have to do that. Yes. Yes, it does, Spider. Yep. Well, I say stuff like that all the time. I'm sure you do, but you're probably also not doing stuff like this. That's so unfortunate. We were so close to um, having a reasonable mold in the six. That could have disrupted our opponent, but does not seem to be our case now. Sure. So we'll take the swamp. Oh, sweet. Uh, no, this concept is not better. <clears throat> Getting savaged here with this draw. Oh, he doesn't have it. Take the far and away. So we got lucky. The bring the jar is not active right now. Lucky, lucky. So he uses it to think twice, or what's happening? He uses the path, so he has the far and away in hand. Okay. So he played this land, so we know he has far and away. At this point, we're going to just try and aggro the opponent. <clears throat> I only play real decks. <laughs> so rude. Opponent has a brain in the jar in us. So he's going to try and make a sacrifice our Thalia, I guess. I'd rather do it this way, that way he's getting like little to no value. We're on the like attack you with uh, draft creatures plan. Target player discards two cards. Okay, these cards suck. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Want to think twice? Is all right. Jundin Abzan. <laughs> just kidding. You're just a villain. That's all. Brain in the jar feels a little bit like Aether Vial. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So we can double blink if we need to. I'm going to try and take him off green during his draw step, I think. Unless he does something here now. Like a wrath of God, no. Okay, just trying to get to his brain in the jar, I guess, to six, so that he can just slam down beck and claw. Draw two cards, sure. Down to two. See what happens here. Is he about the brain? Oh no, it's a sweeper. Mm, okay. I guess I got a little out of control there. I think we need to reset this brain in the jar actually because he can use both sides of it and that's not good for us. Like, just die. Why won't you just die? <laughs> I'm guessing this is a path. Yep, there it is. Such an annoying card. have in this deck that helps us. We don't have a lot. <clears throat> I mean, Displacer is good, I guess, at some point. Well, this is not as good. Where's our vials? Like, what is going on here? How do we make it this far into our game and not draw a vial?
I don't know. This game's over. Alright, opponent's just playing all the free spells dot deck. Um sure, okay. In this matchup, Stony Silence. <clears throat> um I haven't seen a reason to rest in peace yet besides Logic Knot, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, Gideon. What do we not want? We don't want the paths. Hmm. Well, the Resurgence is good, but maybe it's the least important for what we're trying to do here. Leader Spider. Yes, let's play first. We will keep this hand. And let's try and fair this game out, I guess. <clears throat> I'm going to lead with the order. Hopefully it will force him to make some plays he doesn't want to. <coughs> Go on, play your brain in the jar. That'd be an okay turn for me. mean to click that no 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 I meant to put down the stony so sad right now I can't believe that like I my, I don't have a mat down on this table and I slid it over and it didn't slide far enough and I clipped on Arbiter uh. Alright, we 
you get one more chance at this. Yep. Trying to have that happen ever again. Join this league. Probably some type of sweeper effect. Oh, good job, Alberto. The sweeper. Yep, kind of figured that's why we led with Wasteland Strangler and not our Displacer. I think our Displacer has a little more value. Play Flicker Wisp, resetting this. When it's helping us eventually get there. It's down to two cards in hand. Again, we're leading with this because it's a lot weaker. And we need to hopefully eventually get to um, a spot where, you know, we have Aldrazi Displacer with shenanigans up. Once you have an exile, a bunch of trash, here comes a sweeper of some sort. Snapcaster sweeper, sure. So to answer a spider's question, they do, they do play Snapcaster. Okay. 
Okay. We're going to play this at this point in case there's a chance that we draw another Flicker Wisp. I mean, it's not doing us any better right now in our hand. Where's Gideon at? Come on. We're dying to a celestial colony. Let's see if hopefully this is enough to get us there. He's like, no, I have counter magic. happening here. Oh my god. Okay. here. Okay. Dude, come on. Can I draw any of the four ghost quarters in the deck? Nope. Alright. Holy shit. Holy trash. Come on.
Well, that was more than embarrassing. <clears throat> The worst part is like we we lost to like celestial colony. Like you mean to tell me out of all of our cards we couldn't draw any of our th things that deal with celestial colony. Like we couldn't even draw our Gideon. Like that was just terrible. Terrible magic. I guess we can keep this. Welcome to the nightmare. This is gonna be a like horrible league, isn't it? I can just tell. <clears throat> I mean, it's Eldrazi Tron for sure. We know this. Sure. Chalice on one. It's quite all right. Let's do this. We're not attacking this turn. Because... <coughs> If he has uh, Felt Nuts here, or anything actually, any Tron creature, I need to kill it. Come on, Skuller. Upstairs. <coughs> sure. This comes down. We path it. All right, another wall. That's pretty good. So he's got access to six mana. I really genuinely feel like blue is a very important color to be playing in modern right now. And after we get trounced in this league, we might go back to um, blue trophy. Endbringer. I mean, does this have reach? No. Okay. Does it tap creatures? No. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Stop. Just stop, deck.
Another end bringer. Yep. No, stop. Oh. All right. You're getting trolled by this deck right now. It's like, oh, here goes your Arbiter and Vials on turn five and six and seven. What is he doing here? Oh, he's drawing cards, okay. Oh boy, my deck really hating me right now. I'm getting worked here. Cool. Cool stuff, man. Smasher? No, another Endbringer. Oh yeah, it's a Smasher. Sure. Here's the praying that we draw a goddamn path one time. Or a flicker wisp. Any goddamn thing. Just something. Oh man. I actually think if we drew any of our like actual curve cards in this game, we would have been a lot better. But you know, we didn't.
-hmm. He's at one. Like, come on, stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. This is ridiculous. Thank you. Oh, he can just make it so I can't attack. thing. Alright, <clears throat> well, that's not fun. Tech just shitting the bed. Everybody else's tech just steamrolling, getting all the value all the time. Good for them. Um, Fatal Push can't even reach his creatures. It's probably cut Thalia. And... An arbiter. <clears throat> oh, this is brutal. Try this again. This hand's better. Like, there's magic cards in it. So, let's try it. Hmm. All right. That's at least interesting. And nobody cares about that guy. Hmm. I think here <coughs> we put a flicker wisp on board, ghost quarter him off of temple.
right. Teamer Shaman, I hope you're going to get through this, but um, we're here, you know, dealing with um, magic and all age events. Uh, let's just be, especially now that you're telling me you're serious, let's just be very careful with that dialogue because it can be harmful to any of the younger people who are watching this right now. Play a wall. Don't need this anymore. And then end of turn. Let's take him off a charm piece. I mean, even if you like, even though you are serious, I mean that's a, a shitty situation to be in. I just want to be careful with what kind of like dialogue we're having, you know. Oh man, just like I was always hoping, um, you know, get there with the Leon and Arbiter. Teamer, I, I'm really trying to sympathize with you. I'm gonna just time you out for a minute. I really need you to think about like what I'm asking you to do here, please. Not banned, just timing you out. Please like, you know, just be careful and change the dialogue that's happening, please. We're not sympathetic. It's not that we're not sympathetic, we just, these are not the conversations I'm hoping to have right now on our on our channel. Yo, Roberto, you gotta watch what kind of rabbit holes you go down in the chat with. It's all good. I'm I'm not even mad at him. I'm just asking him. Like, it got brought up. I didn't shame anyone for it. I was just politely asking that now that it is brought up and I've said how I feel about it to stop, he still was going. These videos get put on like YouTube and stuff. So I really have to be careful like with where these conversations and stuff go. So we are going to turn this ratchet bomb off. Yep, get some value on it first. Dismember, sure. I kind of smell the dismember coming. Alright. Did we get there on this one or no? Not quite yet. He's still in there. He's in the tank. He's got something. No. Um, he should hear me by now, then, at least. Um, and he knows that it's not malicious. 
I'm just trying to get that stuff out of our chat. Like it was more about making sure that we're not just promoting that brand of content. And like I said, I have no ill intent against him. And by the way, this is long overdue. Welcome to the Sword Club there, Chiboroshenka. Chiboroshenka, sorry. Um, yeah, I think we got to keep this one. We hope it's enough. Alright. We can either try and live the dream here or get on curve with mana. Um, I'm into trying to live the dream here. Like, if he has natural Tron, that's just way too scary. So I think I'm going to try and take him off a Tron piece. This is super sad though. Actually, YOLO, he only lived once. We're gonna let him resolve whatever he's gonna resolve. Ooh. Oh, well, there goes that. Totally hit F6 through that apparently. So now it's time to get wrecked. All right. Not upset. This is my own fault. Yeah, I could have picked a better seven, honestly. Sure, and bringer is. What are we giving him here out of our hand? I think we just give him the vial. I don't even think we have a way to kill Karn in our deck. This game's over. I'm pretty sure of it. I also hit F6 on my opponent's turn that I let him hit Tron. Give him at this point just wasteland strangler.
Okay, MTG bot. I wish we had Pied the Eagle. It gets an awful hand with all of our lands in it. We could draw a flicker wisp now and we might have a chance. So you can know he's about to always dust this. Fuck you. Right. Let's see if we can just lose one more real quick so then we can go play a different deck. Ooh, Tron is really good right now. Mono White has a better chance, but that's something for a different day. Uh, no Dead Guy Ale today. I think that has the worst Tron matchup right now. So I'm going to probably finish working on my blue list. We're DNT today. Um... All DNT today. But... I want to work on this blue list. I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like in the like grand scheme of everything, but I think blue white has a chance. Uh, I guess we can keep this. Are we on the play or on the draw? We're on the play. Better. Try and live the dream. <coughs> not, not quite the dream, but pretty good. snare. Get the fuck out of here. Part of me is really thinking maybe I shouldn't be throwing my Thought Knots here out in here after he's main decking Spell Snare, but fuck it. Oh, and it sticks. He's going to path in response. Yeah, we're going to probably end up coming back to that. Um, we want Detention Sphere out of here permanently. The paths are annoying, but um, it makes him feed us lands. So there's that.
Yeah, Whiskey Dingo, we um we feel obligated sometimes to um, test like what's called a known good deck. Like this deck here is something that people are swearing by. So if that's the case, we want to understand why as we make our decks better and try and figure out what it is that is part of that winning strategy. Um, I'm not sure what's right. I, I think Eldrazi and Texas is in a hard place, but you know people are committed to this, and I just want to understand why. Like that's part of uh, my testing is like I need to know why this is a strategy people are all about. And I mean I get it. Like it occasionally has blowout lines. And that's not that's not the worst, right? All right so we know the four cards in his hand are. I guess we only know three of these cards. He might have a sweeper, and that'll suck forever, but <clears throat> so be it. Layer sign, what's up? Yeah, we're going back to blue. Blue answers the format a lot better. There's some. Glad you made it. All right, there goes the Minamo. All right. I mean, we're getting the best kind of flood if we're going to flood. Honestly, we're going to we're going to nurture our shambling vent here, while it does add additional pressure to the board. Like, it getting path and then him supreme verdicting is really bad for us, so. Yeah, here it comes. Cryptic getting his path back, drawing a card. Okay. Sure. And that's exactly why we didn't want to put our cards in dangerous way. Another thing to note here too with addressing Texas is this is where your tech edges usually are. Um, I don't know how relevant it is, but right now we could have taken them off of Hollow Fountain and Celestial Colonnade. So it's just interesting to pay attention to that stuff. All right, let's look in the opponent's hand and see what's going on before we make any decisions here. Oh, he's getting rid of permanently for us. Okay, so you must have nothing but lands in hand. So let's take a look, see what he's got. Yep, just landed out. Um, I'm okay with not getting combat in for this turn. <clears throat> when it's pretty incentivized to something if he draws it, so. <clears throat> right, so please the island. All right, Shalia, a little late to the party, but glad to see her nonetheless. And she started swinging. Job out here. All right, all right. Let's see what the opponent's up to. He can't really get our shambling vent because we have 
the displacer. He's going to try anyway. Respectable. <coughs> we get the opponent to pretty much wasteland himself going that route. Um, we know the opponent has another ghost quarter in hand. We don't have a way to activate our, uh, what's it called anyway. So let's just put Valley down. Kind of got another spell snare? No. I don't know. I don't know why he didn't just try it again there. We're going to play some tap because it lets us keep up path and protect our dudes. So that's it is what it is. Right. Displacer loves the floods. All right, so against this knucklehead, we want Gideons and maybe some rest in peace. I don't think we're really in the market for Path just yet until he gives us a reason. Um, and then with that being like that, I think we can cut one rest in peace. Three is too much. At this point, I'm just going to 3-2 and get our entry back. <sighs> if we get our entry back, then I at least feel good about the time we're spending on this. I also think it's critically undervalued uh, swords. Swords would be so good right now. Okay, I like this hand. Whoa, whoa. Of course, this will be the hand where he's like, oh yeah, stony silence. <laughs> All right, so no, no stony just yet. Sometimes you have to do this line where it's like, you mean any more lands and if they have a counter they feel more incentivized to counter it but no opponent's just gonna like win mill stamps and hate against us i'm still not even sure what the opponent's deck is this on caves. If you want to path our caves or something, that's fine. Um, it's, sometimes it's better just to diversify what lands can activate, because now if he kills the caves, we still have Shambling Vent. So while Shambling Vent is a 5-6 is fantastic. Alright, well then there goes that. We also do want to watch for Spruce. to 
put ourselves out there for like an entire board sweep or anything. Resto Angel, okay. I think it's less likely he has sweepers now, but it's not something we could have planned for, I don't think. We also could have ghost quartered his ghost quarter, but I'm okay with skipping that line for now. <clears throat> hmm. All right, well, that's annoying. Now, we might be in the camp of making this a 6-6. Six, six. And potentially ghost quartering his ghost quarter here in a second. We gotta take a look at his hand first. All right, very likely to happen now. Path and cryptics and a resto. Let's take the resto. So he has a path in there. I mean, he's got a lot of great answers here. I'm going to skip on using this ghost quarter for now. I mean, he's got double ghost quarter, path, and cryptic, so trying to blow up one lane to blow up his lane isn't going to get there. We can kill Ojutai in this next turn now. Bottom, bottom, bottom. All right. There goes the Celestial. Wagga Wagga, what's up? Hmm. Looks like the plan here is to cryptic tap us. I don't know. Probably not really sure. We're playing Eldrazi in taxes. I don't 
don't think the opponent's letting us double Wasteland String on him. We're going to try. Opponent's been making a lot of suspect, suspect plays lately. Oh, okay. He is. Wall's good in this deck. Wall's pretty, pretty good in this deck. Is he going to cryptic his own dragon? That's fine with me. Oh! I didn't even see the blowout. So with that, we're just dead. Alright. Yep. Opponent got us there. You got us, opponent. Um... Something tells me this is still right. Like, it's not better to bring removal in. <coughs> I mean, the blowout was right in front of our face. I never thought I'd be on a deck that, quote-unquote, had taxes attached to its title and say I had a hard time dealing with the opponent's lands. Just never thought that would be a thing. The Shambling event becoming a 5-6 lifelinker in some matchups is sweet. Um, this hand's rough. I'm keeping it though. I've like, I'm so beyond over this league. <laughs> I don't even remember like what our record is. Alright, well, here it goes. Turn two stony silence now. Alright. Snap keep. Uh. <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, let's get Fally down. Uh. I mean, if you had the path, it still just feels like the right play. Show me the stony. Come on, opponent. I kind of want you to now. No? Alright. Ooh, alright. It's a land. We'll take it. At this point, we will take any land. Alright. Hit us with a path or something. Help us fix our mana. Okay. You clicking us? No way. Targeting himself. Now I'm curious. Let's get in his hand. Whoa, opponent, take it easy. Holy shit. I think we have to take Gisela here. Put it on straight nonsense. He's probably going to hit our vial. 
I hope he actually hits our vial, honestly. It let's us keep playing magic at least. Especially the way his hand is looking. Holy shit. Yep, detention sphere. Taking vial. Sure. Play the foot of Shannon vial. So that's the hand we have. Holy shit. Come on, deck. Alright, <clears throat> we are dead to right here. I mean, the opponent gave us time to play magic. Can't blame the opponent for this. He's like, let me just play tap slash with colonnades for the first half of this game. Like, opponents on mono nonsense. And we still can't get through it. Like, our deck just, just deprives us of lands. Holy shit. Supreme Verdict? That'll be the goofiest Supreme Verdict I've ever seen. Alright. Ooh, I'm sorry, Courtney. Alright. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't even want to play anymore. <laughs> Okay, all right. Not not me, no sorry. All right, we're done with that. Dear God, we're done with that. It had potential. Yeah, we're we're dropping this league. Please, dear Lord, make it end. That hand had potential. All right, so anyway, let's come back here. Um, Vincer, Reflector Mage, like these are all great cards. Um, answers a lot more of the format. <clears throat> I think there's a chance maybe we want Restoration Angel. My personal is sure. Um, sorry, this isn't quite it. Let me fix it. I was, you guys know how I get when I start testing stuff, things get moved out of the way and whatnot. All right, so this deck is supposed to have. I think, yeah, this is right. No, I am. I still have one in taxes. I just wasn't paying attention when I was adjusting stuff. So. Um, in fact, this list was one of the lists that I was doing better with. Um. I think one of the downfalls I have is like when I'm like, oh, this is working, I move on and I try and find another deck. I think it's the brewer in me getting in the way. One, two, three, four. So let me just make sure. Four. And then we need vault. I think we need a pair of vaults. Which means we need to cut one cubes. Um, um, find hunter one selfless. I think it's like that. Yo, what's up, Dat Kovu? Nice to see you. Glad to have you here. I think this is like verbatim what I had. The walls and the fiend hunters might have been switched, in fact. Um, 
And in this meta, I would see myself possibly wanting another Lingering Souls. But we'll leave it like that for now. <coughs> now, you don't need it. It's good, but like this deck doesn't need it. We really need our colored mana more than anything else. Um, if we were going to make it happen, though, we'd shave like a caves for it. But I think vaults are more important in this meta. Um, as far as the sideboard goes, let's fix the sideboard. Oops. Um, sideboard, we want um, Sin Collector. We want swords. We just want the red one. Then, let's see. <coughs> um, just in peace. Maybe it's two pontiffs at this point. The pontiff or the the cyborg needs a little work just because the format is shifted. We found out who our villains are, um, and trying to figure out how we want to address that's a little difficult. Um, one of the other things we can look at too is like we could be playing Magus in this board. Um, <coughs> in fact, I'm willing to give that a shot right now. Um, I think to make that happen, we'd achieve something like this. Just because a lot of our opponent's decks are trying to attack us on the ground. Um, I might want to try and squeeze these Pontiffs in the main deck to balance this plan out a little better. Whoops. <coughs> we'll come back to this. That's kind of where I want the board to be. Um, then as far as main deck goes, if we want to squeeze Pontiff in here, hmm. remove one rip, okay. It's somewhere in this ballpark. Um, also miss Revoker a lot, like Revoker. Um, having turn two Revokers and Arbiter is really good options. We said we want to play my list, so let's try and figure this out. Um, this is a lot more difficult than it looks. So let's say we remove one of those. I mean, selfless spirit's good, but maybe we just don't want selfless spirit. How many flyers do we have if we go that route? We have four, a ton. Um, Sorry, I, I, here's the problem, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been testing Mono White a lot lately. Uh, I gave the list to Spider, and I'm waiting for him to test it before we do a stream with it. This is the deck I've been doing really well with. I don't want to show you the whole thing here just yet, but just know that um, it had four Revokers and four Arbiters, and that was testing really well. Um, I just, I'm thinking about, if we're talking about where I was last with this deck, I was playing Selfless Spirit. 
because Selfless Spirit's a really good turn too, and it saves some of your other dudes a lot of the time. Um, it flies if we're going to test this Magus line in the board. But having stuff like Revoker answers a lot of problems in the format. But I don't think... That's not what we're trying to do right now. Sorry, I'm just trying to like make sense of stuff in my head. And it keeps bringing me back to this. Um, a, a selfless and <clears throat> and fiend hunters, man. Fiend hunters have been great. This is what's making this even harder. And I won't play sixty-one cards. And you guys have seen Wall of Resurgence be really good, so I don't want to shave down on that. Um. Arbiter just does dirty stuff here sometimes. I'm tempted to shave a land. Our sideboard curves pretty low. I don't like this, but we're going to shave a Fiend Hunter. We're going to do it like that. Don't like it, but that's what it's going to be. So, lingering taxes. Yeah, let's join a league. Lingering taxes. Spend money. Let's do it. Opponents. Uh, yes, we'll play first. Hmm. This hand's a little bit on the too suspicious side for me. Oh, Jesus. Well, I guess we're keeping this. Pushing that to the bottom. Alright. This old Drazi deck, man, it's like a goddamn plague. I don't even think we have time for Vile. I think we just have to, like, get going. I'm going to miss those Fiend Hunters now, that's for sure. Trying to get there the best we can. Alright, he let us take his land and then didn't use his spell scrape. Pretty awkward. He plays his lands, plays another map. Alright. So let's see here. Fortunately, I think we have to go the route of. Taking them off of Tron pieces. Alright, 
Hopefully it's a bad magic card. Uh, it's kind of bad. Not bad enough. Ugh, all right. Just please, no ballistas. <laughs> Dear God, not a ballista. This is an example of where Revoker would outshine uh, Selfless Spirit. It's like we could shut down Spellskite, we could name Ballista, it would just do a little bit more for us. All right, so we got there. Um, we had to take an emergency route on the Mulligan to five and just attack the opponent <laughs> to death, which is super frustrating to do, but sometimes you have to. All right, since we got ahead on game one, we're going to just go upstairs and put a prison around the opponent. Um, in this matchup, our worst cards are things like Pontiff's Pretty Bad and Thalia. And then we need to shave a slot. I think one prison should go. This hand's okay. We'll keep it. Got to hopefully land this Magus before he uh, thought knots us, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Ooh, there goes the Basilisk Collar. Right, we get down Aether Vial before he gets Chalice. <coughs> oh, shit. All right, Ratchet Bomb. Yep. Just hope he doesn't have it all natural like. He might just have natural Tron and then that's a huge problem. Oh, he doesn't. All right. That's pretty good. No natural Tron. Wow, he's not using his ratchet bomb. This is absurd. I almost don't know what to do here. I was almost certain that uh, a ratchet bomb was getting ready to strike here. All right, let's take him off ratchet, or maybe he'll use it in response. Nope. Okay. <laughs> All righty. If you say so, opponent. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to kill his own basilisk, basilisk collar. That makes a little bit of sense. Not much, but a little bit. Sure. All right, I'm actually feeling pretty good here. See the opponent's hand. We want to just make sure there's no like warping wheel before we try and land our Magus. Sure. What you got? All is dust, Smasher. Um, if he gets Eldrazi. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. If he finds whatever, he's got it regardless. Um, and it's a sacrifice effect, not a destroy. So we're going to try and take out these all as dust. And just start racing, I guess. So that gives him enough for Smasher, which is fine. We're going to take him off a Tron piece here in a second.
sure we'll take that hit for five. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> we're about to do it. We're about to do it. Let's just do it. Curve punk. <laughs> Opponent's probably reading this card like, what? <laughs> oh, jeez. He probably has removal for it. Oh, maybe he's just switching his basilisk collar. Okay. <coughs> Also, now if we find a sword off the top, this is great, too. Alright. Oh, that's here. Yep, don't care about that. <laughs> so ridiculous. And we just want to keep back with our dudes and depth touch in case we need it. Ooh, all right. He won't do that though. That will, that helps him in no way, shape, or form. Magus of the Moot. There it is. <laughs> uh, uh. Let's see if that was enough. <laughs> you can't attack with creatures. Is that good enough to get through this match? <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, well, the temple's still not that good. It's great, but it doesn't blow us out. Like We still keep our thought not and have Death Touch out. And we also drew pretty poorly in the last couple of turns. Fiend Hunter would have been great. Um... Jump into another one. All right. <coughs> Why are you wishing badly on us over here, Trebushenka? Yeah, Magus is hilarious there. Like, opponent just like has dumped his board and is just waiting for a chance to fight through it. Cause he would he had um all his dust in hand. So it's all his dust would have killed everything except for his stuff and my thought not here. <coughs> Which is why I went the route with trying to take him off of all his dust. Like if I drew a flicker wisp, I'd be able. <laughs> Trebushenka, I'm just messing with you. Traboroshenka, I'm sorry. I gotta start getting that correct. That feels pretty good. That's like the worst matchup normally for my other builds. Like, I keep tons of notes on what I'm playing against. I don't think I have a notebook in here. I think it's in my kitchen, but... I keep notes of my matchups. And Eldrazi, Tron, and... Um, I'm sorry, yeah. Eldrazi, Tron, and Tron have been my worst two for my other builds. Alright, um, let's mold in this. Guess we gotta keep that. Which is unfortunate. We keep getting these really bad mulligans. Uh, keep him on top. Are we on the play? I don't think we are. We are. We are on the play, so that helps a little bit.
Thanks, Wagga. Yeah, we had a little bit of a concern that, like, we could just get ran over. Oh, is this the mirror? Show me the mirror. Oh, we have a bad keep here against the mirror. All right, it's not the mirror. So it's probably Abzan. What? Stop it. This is not happening right now. Oh, the opponent's got to be so sick. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's got to be so frustrating. Jeez. All right. We weren't going to draw any better either. Um, in this matchup, we want the pair of rest in peace and the swords. What do we not want? Mm, on the draw. I don't think there's stuff we don't want. Let's shave a wisp. Let's shave a thalia. She was selfless. Maybe, maybe a fiend hunter. Or no, I like having a 2-2 split of those, so we'll leave it like this. <laughs> I'm not sick or anything. I didn't hit my head. I am purposely playing Arbiter. Um, our curve needs to come down, and we don't have better two drops. And Arbiter does reasonable stuff, right? Like, I'm not going to pretend that Arbiter doesn't lead to blowouts sometimes. Um, and while I still think opponents can play around it, I just don't think we have better choices. So it's like kind of starting back from the the original game plan here. Oh my gosh. Can we have a rinse and repeat one time? Um, <clears throat> I'm okay with the grief. We get to play Thalia. Tax turn a little bit. So you can't just auto go into Liliana, try and get value on us. Like he's going to get to swing with the Goyf this time, but I don't think we care. Yeah. Or he just plays another Goyf. Okay. Well, this is going to be bad times for the opponent. He's getting like perfect mana. Kills Thalia with push, sure. Um, let's check him, see if he's got anything. He's down to two cards, but we're not in great shape if we don't find another land. Ugh. Yep. Fortunately, Liliana's not as scary as she used to be for us, and he just helped us quite a bit here. Um, he killed our uh, Leonin Arbiter, so we get to fix our mana without it causing us problems. We can play our selfless spirit and keep the path. And we're probably chucking Thought Knots here, here to Liliana. Um, yeah. Just get rid of Goyf. He's going to take our wall now, but 
hopefully his last card is just bad and we get to kill Liliana and keep moving forward, but <clears throat> just about to wait and see. Yep, last card was what? A land? Okay. He's got no cards in hand. Lingering Souls. Uh, Ghost Quarter, not really what I was hoping for, but okay. Again, um, you know, playing this list gives you more grind. Um, sadly, I uh, didn't draw a vial or anything this game to make it like super easy, so we're still in the grind territory. But it's going okay. Oh, baby. Just fade another removal spell, and then I feel super good. Play a land. Play a land, or play a creature. A creature's okay, too. Uh, Maelstrom Pulse, not what I was hoping for, but that is pretty good, and that's a perfect time to fade Maelstrom Pulse. Again, we have way more grind tools and lingering taxes. I actually feel like a certain way, like, I try not to bring this in a league, not like, because I don't think it'll do well. I really just don't want my opponents to be aware of this. And I don't want people building around me, which, I mean, I'm not very popular or anything, and it's not very likely that that happens. But it's not good for me if people start hedging against me and doing funky stuff. Alright, let's try and Pontiff. Mm, path not what I was really looking for. Alright, a Pontiff should do it. <coughs> uh, because I still play Wall of Resurgence. I want to be able to turn that into a 3-3 creature that he would have to kill. Dark Confidant's fine. Dark Confidant might actually help. We're going to give it a turn though, because if I find Pontiff, I feel a lot better. Did not find Pontiff. We now have Arbiter. swing yet because like I swing for four all right maybe we have to yeah I think maybe we do hmm that I'm okay with that's still fine So he has something. Alright, let's see what that something is. Acquisition. Alright, let me see. If he blocks here and then blocks there, he takes three. I'd rather just let him trade. <coughs> yep. That's fine. When I was telling Spider about this, I was like, playing Wall of Resurgence and Leaving Souls makes like the Jun matchup easier. He's like, I don't know. I'm like, dude, I promise you. It makes it super easy. Also, like, have people on here even telling me that my list is trash all the time. So, like... I usually try not to play this because I feel like people don't want to see it. So I usually like in like private space when it's like people who are like okay with it, like, yeah, I want to see you play your list. Like we'll do it in tournament practice. But I feel like most of the time people just don't believe in this deck and they don't want to see it. So I avoid playing it unless people tell me they want to see it. Like now. Uh, this hand's okay. I'll keep it. Cliffs. Right, so I feel like he's a combo player. Based on that suspicious turn one black cleave with no actual line of play behind it. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, 
set up a Thalia into Arbiter Boost Quarter Plan. I feel like it's almost always better to Thalia first and then Arbiter. It makes it harder for them to interact with the Arbiter um, and do stuff on their turn and all that good stuff. And it usually convinces more times than not for them to tap out. So don't let the opponents on them. Things. Okay. Oops. Kitchen things is okay. Let's take him off of Black Green. Oh, cool, Waga. I'm glad you are on the campaign here of making life miserable for the opponent. Is this just like Jund main decking kitchen things? It could be. Hmm. Just taking the hit. Okay. I think we go in here and we take a look. Oh, I forgot to put the swamp in this deck. I did um, start heating everyone's advice, and I did put a basic swamp in my my list. I forgot to add it back in here. There should be a swamp in here. <coughs> That's how the list should be. That's fine. I mean, he's forced to use that or he's going to have to respect um, this guy every turn. Uh, Jun Charm, does that do anything against us? Each creature takes two damage. Cleancan's command. I think we just want Thrun. I think the rest of what he's doing isn't that great. Right, so let's see. What's in his hand? Cleancan's command and Jun Charm. So it's just Jund. He plays the Verdant. This turn, we know he has K command. I don't want to give him reasonable targets for K command. And if he's going to make us discard, I really want to discard this vial, so we're not going to do anything with it. Next turn, there's a chance I might um, want to like answer this kitchen finks and just attack him for six. I'm not sure. So that helps our decision making here a little bit. And Fiend Hunt his Kitchen Finks, so we can shove for six. If he fetches, that puts him on two. And we have way too many threats now. And K Command. 
looking a lot worse in those circumstances. And it'll be hard to kill the Fiend Hunter with the Selfless Spirit out. Opponent's line was there. Take a little bit of time. Yeah, we're on my list now. As per request of deals two damage to each creature. Mm, no. We'll commit this now. So that pushes him back up to 11, which is whatever. Um, it actually helps us a little bit because now our Fiend Hunter doesn't have potential blowouts for us. So he's going to pick his Sphinx back up. And that's going to be his turn or whatever, and that's fine. He used his Jun Charm. Alright, a path would be pretty good. So it looks like his best line here is like. Cake him, or he would have to have another land for that to work. <coughs> Fortunately for Ops. We only have access to seven points of damage and not eight. So, yeah. Look at Cake Command, shoot. Oh, Liliana tick down. Okay. Yeah, you can have Fiend Hunter. There's a Grief. Let's send this at you, this at Liliana. Just taking it? Okay. Let's knock him off with some lands here. I think taking him off green is pretty important. Rallier's amazing. Uh, me and Spider test all the time, and he just gets nutty value with Rallier. Alright. You know, one of his cards is a K command, right? I really don't want to get into this, like, let you draw cards thing with this Thought Knot attack. Go ahead and play a vial. <coughs> I don't know, Spider's testing that to day, I think he said when he plays. I'm not sure. Not blocking this, you crazy. Sure. Maybe a six. I don't know what his last card is. Oh my gosh, Dex, stop. I'm gonna just plugging away here. Yo, what's up, Steelers? We're getting screwed. We literally just drew all four Thalias back to back, I think. There might have been like one card in between, but it definitely wasn't fantastic. Can we get Lingering Souls? Jesus. Just 
takes it. Okay, that's cool with me. Come on, deck. One time. One time. One time, deck. Let's see if we get some ninjutsu tricks going here. <laughs> Nope, still don't want to block. Like, can I draw something that's not a land? <laughs> oh, deck stop. My deck is ravaging me right now. Like, something I've never seen before. We've literally just, like, ripped through. How many lands are left in our deck? Unreal. Like almost our entire deck is almost intact. I'm shoving. I'm sorry. We need to at this point. We gotta force some interactions here. He goes a six or whatever, but so be it. It's not getting better. Alright, cool. Twenty-three lands, but I mean, really, that that shouldn't be the situation at all. Let's see if he's confident enough to attack again. He is not, so he's not doing too hot here. Thank you, jeez. Take it. I mean, we were at some point like required to draw some heat here. Um, he already uses Jun Charm. I can't imagine that this deck main decks two Jun Charms. So, all right, let's see what he's got. <clears throat> okay, holy shit, dude. How many lands did we draw here? Is there any exile now? So we drew 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We drew 10 of them. The other one we found through Flagstone. So we drew almost half of our, our, our mana base. Which, I mean... So drawing... I guess, theoretically, that's still somewhat normal. Somewhat. I have to because our deck needs to be on curve, but yeah, uh, 23 can lead to floods like that. Not really too much we can do. We have to play the 23rd land, especially when we have like swords and magus in our board. Alright, so he's pretty spell heavy. We might want some sin collectors. None of his creatures fly, like if we wanted to get super dingy we could go magus. Let's see what we don't want. Um. We don't want Pontiff. I mean, Pontiff answers Dark Confidant, though. Alright, so let's say... No, no, no. Law of Resurgence, good. Fiend Hunter, good. Flicker Wisp, not the greatest. Um, Dahlia, great. Arbiter, great. Selfless, okay. Um, Sin Collectors, might be just getting the axe here. Let's actually, since we're on the draw, actually, no, Pontiff's going to be important because if he just leads a Dark Confidant, that could just run us over. Mm. I really do want Sin Collectors in here, though. Uh, we're going to leave it like this. <coughs> uh, that's a pretty good hand. We'll keep it. Um, the swords, we're just going to sandbag unless he takes them. We're not going to commit that until we have five mana. Looks like that's not going to be an option. Anyway. Let's see what he wants to come in here and grab. He 
I'm just looking at all these ugly cards like what does this one do? <coughs> I imagine it's probably gonna be rest in peace or arbiter. Okay, it's selfless spirit. All right. Maybe he has an Inquisition and he's going to just nut savage the next card. I don't know. Or it's a scoozy. Excuse me. Yes, plan rest in peace. I got a Liliana coming. Could be a K command. Until we find lingering souls, this is gonna be a lot, lot of hard choices, and it's gonna be difficult to play through. Because we just never got ahead of the curve, and he's probably got all removal and Liliana's in hand, so. We have to wait till Wall of Resurgence or Lingering Souls makes their debut for us. I'm kind of wishing these were Sin Collectors now. Alright. Oh shit, I forgot we have a uh, uh, what's it called? Flagstones out. Or uh, rest in peace. He probably again, like I said, has K Commander, at least some kind of removal spell, so let's see what he cho chooses here. Great, but okay. Probably just takes our other sword here. And he's running out of threats. Like, he probably has a reasonable amount more of removal spells, which we can't do much about that. But hopefully he's at least running out of, like, things to do that are good. Yeah, it'd be interesting, though, if he does have, like, a Dark Confidant in hand that he just can't cast. Because <clears throat> it doesn't help him. Uh, we're going to play one. I mean, it would have been a lot better through a vial <coughs> that we never found. Right, we're down to 10. This is the rough beats, man. Maybe I should have pumped Pontiff. Like, I really don't want to play the Pontiffs, but I might have to here. Alright, we're going down to eight. 
Come on, give me a draw. Not quite the draw I had in mind. I guess we're racing. Take off some of this colored mana here and double black if we can. All right, come on, one draw, one time. All right, we'll take it. Come on deck. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> He's got infinite cards in his hand. Uh, down to four. Not dead yet. All right. Now I feel like we might need to block. Can't get bolted out of this game. We still haven't found like a path? Like what is going on here, dude? This is ridiculous. Just Bobby. Flicker was. Jesus. All right, Bob, kill it, kill yourself. Surgical extraction, okay. Dead draw, fortunately. Thrown? Yep, sure. Dude, I mean, the inability to draw cards here seems dangerous. Did we ever have colors? Yeah, we had two colors lands, but we, when we used them, we had to. All right, so I guess we're just hoping Bob kills him. He finds Liliana. All right. I mean, I don't know what we're aiming for as an out. So... I mean, if Thrunce is only 4-drop, there's a very slim chance we even have an out in this game. Oh, now we definitely don't. Um, <clears throat> the Flood hit us hard on this one, dude. Alright, we're dead. Um, I guess. Let's see here. Jesus, dude. Come on. I mean, I guess having the good cards in your deck isn't enough if you don't get to them. Uh, so with this, I think we want... No, we still need Pontiffs. Um, oh, we shaved all the Wisp. I guess that didn't help with our Pontiff line. Honestly, it doesn't matter. We have so many great cards and we didn't draw any of them. I definitely want the Sin Collectors. I think I'm going to cut the Swords for the Sin Collectors. I mean, the swords are still good. It's just like we're about to grind hard. We're keeping this, unfortunately. I'm just praying that we draw a land, <clears throat> which very likely won't happen, but we got to try. Yeah. 
Yo, rabbit. What's up? Sometimes we just lose to variants. Like, we can't do much about that. Um, this isn't like Legacy where you have, like, Ponder and stuff like that to help you fix draws. Like, we're at the mercy of, like, is the Shuffler going to be God to us or not? This is match three, game three. So, it's rough, it's hard, it's annoying, it's sad. We also, like, I mean, come on, like, we took, like, 16 points of damage from a scavenging news. Like, that's not, that's not normal. Um, let's go ahead and Arbiter here, hoping it's enough that he has to bolt it or doesn't have the ability to get to it, but... It's our best play, and we need to use our mana still. Like, if we draw another land, we need to linger these souls before we uh, rest in peace. Yep, that's fine. Take what you want. Right. Oh, sure. All right, getting boned here. Hardcore. Hardcore bonage. Dark confidant, sure. Holy shit, dude, come on. Okay. See what he draws. Blooming Marsh. All right, hopefully we can catch him in the combat step. Again, we're just getting screwed by variants here. Sure, thanks, not a big deal. Please send in the uh, Dark Confidant. No, nope, he doesn't. His hand sucks. All right, we have to. Master, I would actually say that that's not correct in this matchup. Like, we are pretty well suited here. Like, I don't know if you're watching this game, but I am literally getting punished by Barry. Like, it's not even like the opponent is doing oppressive things against us. We're just drawing so poorly. Well, tr typically, I agree in the aspect of Death and Taxes as a default deck has a hard time. I would say in our situation, we shouldn't be having such a hard time. But <clears throat> we are. So he has another Dark Confidant. He's attacking us for six, which is pretty good. We are racing not very well. Sure. Um, eight. Yeah, we're going to allow that to be the turn. Let's try and knock him off of red if we can. Right, we did. Oh God, no! Like, where's the wall of resurgence? Where's any of our three drop creatures? Where's anything of anything? Explosives <coughs> on zero, sure.
Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Alright, we're just hoping that his dark confidants kill him. Nope. Jesus Christ, dude, get out of here. <sighs> um, you can't do anything about that. It's just not an option. Like, you can't beat variants. Um, it's super frustrating. I'm sorry. It just really is. Like, when our deck is comp compiled full of reasonable targets, like, so look in this game. We didn't draw any copies of Thalia. We didn't draw... Sorry, we have to go back to what we sideboarded into. We actually brought back a reasonable amount of this, but... Dude, it's just so annoying. Like, come on, bro. At that point, I had drawn almost all copies of all my lands, except for the only thing I didn't draw was a Tech Edge, I think. And didn't draw any Paths, didn't draw any Thalias, didn't draw any Selfless Spirits, didn't draw any Wall of Resurgence, didn't draw... I think we had a Fiend to Hunter in our opener, maybe. But, like, Jesus Christ, dude. Like, um, unfortunately, I don't have time to squeeze out any more of this league. I do have to leave and head out for the day. I have to get ready for work and stuff. But, um, so far, we are 2-1 in this league, which I imagine we'd continue to do pretty fairly well. I actually think if... We could have just, like, fucking drew cards. We actually would have won that. Like, but I'm not even on a deck that should experience this much variance. Like, I mean, we have so many cards that compensate for it. Ugh. I still, I still land in the ballpark if I believe that the Jun matchup should be fairly easy. Both games we lost, we had more than ten lands, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. It is salt, Marcus. You'd be salty too. How could you not be salty? Your opponent draws action every turn, and you draw lands every turn. That's infuriating. It's salt on maximum. I never said my creatures were better. What are you what are you talking about? Marcus stop. If you're trolling, just put hashtag troll and then say your statement, but I never said my creatures were better than his. I said that he drew action every turn and I drew lands. So you need to reevaluate, please. Um We went from like the start of the game where we couldn't find our third land to play on curve, and then we went into literally draw nothing but lands. But um, I stand by my expressed decision. I think that this list is good. Uh, there's always a couple cards that could be tweaked, but that's where I'm at. So with that being said, uh, I do have to head out. Anybody who's enjoying themselves and wants to be here, please go ahead and give a follow. Uh, again, being here is a choice. If you choose to be here, I appreciate having you here. But that's going to be it for today. I'll catch you guys later.